Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. Well, I... Grab the space rock for illustrative purposes. All right, fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. So the meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. me first. Ah! <laughs> 
meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Harry!
every single day after school! You slept over after your mom got sick! We couldn't feel like that. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there! Always have been! Until we got sick again. While we were fighting for our lives. I was trying to save you! Did you feel like that to us? Dropping in. Doesn't matter what you do. 
do to me? I'm never gonna heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite... You took it from us! Jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. 
are. Maybe I was, but Pete wasn't Pete. I need to hit him with more blue sparks. <laughs> You're better than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. Thought I clipped his wings. It doesn't matter if you like me or not. I'm here for you. You can't see it now, but we're not so different, man. Let's end this.
done. Either way, Pete. No, no, no. We still have time. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try.
hospital. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Pete. 
Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> you ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. See you. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Hi. I hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Thank you. 
This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. Uh, 